Hello and welcome back to Delicious Hugs. On today we are making s'mores cookies homemade. Let's get started by browning some butter. You all know every time I make a cookie, I'm pretty much going to use one or two sticks of brown butter. You know this process takes about five minutes. Just let it get foamy and smell nutty. Remove it from the pan. Let it set aside for about 30 minutes or so and then you can start measuring your other ingredients. First, we're gonna get started with the sugars. We're using brown and white granulated sugar. All of the ingredients will be listed down in the description box below. Now you can add your cooled brown butter to the sugars, and then you're gonna simply mix until combined. I am using a hand mixer today, but you can also make these cookies by hand. Now I have two eggs and vanilla and butter extract in this bowl. Give that a whisk and then add that mixture to the cookie mixture. Mix well until combined. Always scrape the size of your bowl and incorporate that with your recipe. Give that a good mix and then we can move on to the dry ingredients. In a separate bowl, add some all-purpose flour and you're going to make sure you level the flour before you add it to the bowl to make sure that your recipe is accurate. I'm using one half intervals and you're going to take the knife and level off the extra flour. Next, you're going to do the same thing with cornstarch, about three tablespoons. So cornstarch is going to help your cookies stay nice and chewy. I also added some salt off camera, about a half teaspoon. But just know that if you're using salted butter, you can leave the salt out. Next, we're going in with some baking soda. And simply give all of the dry ingredients a whisk. You want to make sure that everything has been incorporated. Add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. Mix until combined. I started off by using a spatula just so the flour didn't fly everywhere once I turned the mixer on. And then I went in with the mixer just to make sure the flour was incorporated throughout the recipe. Now we can start adding the garnishes for the cookie. We're gonna be adding chocolate chips, candy bar pieces, marshmallows and some graham cracker crumbs mix in the garnishes by hand and then we're going to portion them onto a lined cookie sheet Y'all know I like cat head cookies, but if you like smaller cookies, do whatever you like. This recipe usually makes about 10 to 12 cookies if you're doing the cat head sizes. Once you've portioned your cookie dough onto the cookie sheets, garnish with some more candy pieces. You could also do like the viral TikTok 
s'mores cookie and just use the graham crackers on the bottom with the jumbo marshmallow and then put the cookie dough on top. Now they're ready to go inside of the refrigerator. You want to let your dough cool and then you can put them in the oven. Everybody oven varies. So start off with about 13 or 16 minutes and go from there. And then you're gonna have nice homemade s'mores cookies. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. I appreciate you and until next time, bye bye.